this is Cameron, and welcome to the practice log. All right, well, we got a lot of stuff to do today, so let's go ahead and jump into it, shall we? We'll actually start this one off with some bad news. Shout out to me, Qbri. Apparently your loot finally arrived in the mail. We lost another one today, guys. Another guitarist has become a sinner. By the way, any instrument that's not specifically the classical guitar can make you a sinner. So, you know, if you play saxophone, if you play electric guitar, that's all gonna go against you on Judgment Day, when you're standing up there at the pearly gates. Ooh, hold on now. Wearing socks when you shouldn't be. This is a holy room. I shouldn't hide my feet from God. I don't know what I'm on about. Okay, we're not gonna spend too much time in the chair today, because today we're gonna watch some Bach video, I think. I hope they get religious in it, so this part makes sense. Anything else? I feel like I'm kind of rushing through it. I got coffee. Actually, just went to CVS and got, like, some pre-made cold brew, because I'm still waiting for my instant coffee to show up in the mail. Well, I'm pretty tired, so I, I think I can probably just get to it, and I'll wake up by the time I'm done. So, let's go ahead and jump into it. I'll see you there. Oh yeah, one more thing, actually. I got another Ergo Play. I got the other model. Uh, this one's better. I like it more. This is the one that I started on, actually. And the, the problem with the other one is that it was raised a little too high. It's just a little too high for me. Yeah, we're gonna stick with this for a while. We'll see how it feels. I just feel like I can get a really good angle with this, because I want it to be low for my shoulder. Because the problem with the other one, my shoulder was just too high and it would get really strained. But this one, I can keep my shoulder really relaxed, and I'm still where I need to be. It's just a good situation. I might need to finally do my nails. I broke my glass nail file because I stepped on it. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm gonna hop to it. I will see you on the other side. Okay, so I haven't practiced that much today. This is a short one because I have a lot of stuff to do today and I worked on the presto for like a little bit. So I think I'm gonna play that for you. Come on over. I was actually able to play through the presto from memory. I'm not gonna do that today, uh, but I am just gonna play through it. I'm not gonna take any repeats. You know the deal. All right, here we go. Thank you. 
was the presto. I'm not done practicing for today, but I think I'm gonna wrap it up here because uh, one of my friends wants to get lunch. And you know, I wanna finish this video and maybe have time to edit it a bit, but I'll practice more throughout the day. Uh, let me think. Oh yeah. Ooh, I got five hour long lessons to teach today though. So it's gonna be a long one. Today's a busy day. I'd like to film a video tonight as well because I uh, skipped last night, which is no good, but it's all good. It's all good work. Well, I have an idea for what we're gonna do today. You're gonna be really shocked. Let's make our way to the computer, shall we? Listen, I know that I kind of neglected that Sonata today, but I, I promise you, I'm gonna look at it more later today, at the very least tomorrow. You know, the Presto is the movement to work on right now, and I, I basically have it memorized, which is really good. So, you know, I don't wanna hear it. And I feel that it is getting better. I, I feel like it's getting easier for me. You already know what we're doing. Bach, a passionate life. Hey, shout out to Heidi and the, um, Shout out to these motorcycles out there. Shout out to Heidi and her running the Bach Book Club. Go check it out in the Discord. Oh, I gotta see what this ad's all about. I love my ads. Its answers are not reliable, and they are difficult to be fact-checked. What do you mean not reliable? Do I freaking love ChatGPT. Liner is different. Unlike ChatGPT, Liner can be your reliable research assistant. Oh, it wonderful. But da 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 Liner? I'm gonna use Liner. There's the crucifix. Needs more blood. Can I get some pig's blood on that thing? One of the counselors is on record as saying, since the best man couldn't be obtained, mediocre ones would have to be accepted. That's a hard freaking quote. The truth is that neither party to this contract could have guessed what they were letting themselves in for. In Bach's own words, hindrance and vexation. From the moment he set foot in Leipzig, Bach found himself caught in the political crossfire between different factions on the city council. Music, since it carried with it an element of cultural prestige, formed a part of those political tensions. How do you resolve political tensions? with perfect authentic cadences <laughs> okay on the one hand on the city council were those loyal to the elector who wanted a modern kapellmeister one who could bring real international prestige to the city and they were bach's natural allies but opposed to them were the estates party who wanted a traditional cantor tied into the school system with all its regulations and with all its teaching duties Woo. and that throttled Bach's room for maneuver. Before these problems- Sounds like a tough situation. Can't wait to see how Bach resolves it. To the surface, Bach set to work. It used to be thought that his cantatas, well over 200 of them, and the two great passions, were composed over the whole 27 years he spent in Leipzig. But in the 1950s, an astonishing discovery was made. By a careful examination of the watermarks on the original scores and parts, scholars discovered that the greater part of the cantatas and passions were actually produced in a white-hot frenzy of just three Three years. Wow. What do you do with the rest of the time? That's like pretty telling. I feel like that's how I write music too. Like all the music I've written is like four years old. I haven't written anything since then. Uh, also the watermarks. Those are tears. How he kept up that rhythm, how he managed to sustain that level of intensity and creativity is just beyond belief. Particularly when you can sit believe it. Bach's living conditions. To get started, no, in I hate you. You don't need previous experience or a degree. The wow, you don't need anything. To get a to code in R, to code in SQL. Code in R? Were you a pirate? Analysts <laughs> Sorry, about I have no idea. I'm like such an idiot. It's the number one soft skill that you'll pick up. A soft skill? Did I just hear that? I have no interest in soft skills. Two. Hard he skills only. That's where Bach lives? <laughs> How did he fit? God, I feel like the jokes I'm making are so bad. That's the building he lived in? How did he fit in it? No wonder his living conditions are bad. Oh my god, I'm like off my game today. It's a model of the Thomas School. The original building was... It's a model of it, alright. ...down in 1902. Here, Bach and his family lived right next to the schoolboys. There wasn't enough room for all the kids, mm. and they slept two to a bed, and there must have been a heck of a lot of background noise. Dude, two to a bed, <laughs> that sucks. I used to throw them in there, two to a bed. My god. And he had to concentrate to produce these phenomenal pieces, and then to supervise their copying out. In his own room? I think so. But you wonder how he could ever have had any sort of private life in this sort of outfit. I mean, the conditions being so cramped and the noise the descriptions of, of mice and rats running up and down the staircases as well yeah they probably had a different concept of private life back then last <laughs> <Lost> in time <laughs> hmm. Bach didn't just have to write 25 minutes of new music each week. He also had to get it copied into individual parts for the musicians to sing and play from. I guess when you put it like that, 25 minutes doesn't sound like that much. He's already... I guess my sonata is like less than 25 minutes. 
packed lodgings now had to accommodate not just his large family, but also cousins and live-in apprentices to help with the never-ending copying out. In the pressure cooker atmosphere of the Thomas cameraman. This devastating pace that Bach had set himself, things started to go wrong. If you look at this, you'll see there's a frenzy in the writing. It's almost as though he has hardly has time to actually put the beams of the semiquavers and demi semiquavers into the page. They look like bamboos in a hurricane. <laughs> and here's something interesting because this is Kuna, one of his favorite copyists. And Bach leaning over to see what Kuna has copied notices that his name has been misspelled. B A C C H and the dude, what an idiot! B A C C H. He gives him a hell of a cuff across the ear. Yeah, he deserves it too. Oh my god, not even I would do that. And the ink flies across the page, and it makes a beautiful rose. Wow. And here's another example: a cousin, Johann Heinrich, came. Is that the story for that? That's insane. To Leipzig, and Bach put him to work immediately in the sweatshop of copying. He's made a complete hash of it. He's written out the choral in the wrong clef and mistransposed it. So he has to cross it all out, and Bach himself has to leap in and write out the chorale neatly at the end. I mean, what a plonker. Here, you can see Bach. Wow, has anybody ever played the wrong version? Painstakingly trying to repair the damage against the clock to make sure that there weren't terrible errors on the music stands when it came to the one and only rehearsal before the cantata was performed. I couldn't be a musician back then, because I can't read that stuff. Whenever I'm on IMSLP and it's like an original Bach transcription, I immediately disregard it. I'm like, screw that. Even if it's legible, it's just like, surely I can't read this handwritten crap. I ain't reading this thing. Yeah, look at that, I'm not reading that. Like, how do you even know what's going on? It's just so imprecise. Bach had constantly to adjust his music to the talents and skills of his available music. Musicians. But also, he had to lure in university students in exchange for private music lessons. There's something about Bach's orthography, his, his handwriting, which suggests already the gesture, the direction of a phrase. In some cases, Bach... Well, like he wrote it. He wants you to push through this phrase so you can see he wrote it kind of sloppy. ...forced to pay for extra musicians from his supplementary earnings, made from playing at weddings and funerals. Weddings and funerals, what's the difference, right? I'm so lonely. Sorry, I'm trying to appeal to my older male audience with that one. Leipzig was known as the city of churches. It's been estimated that on a normal Sunday of a population of 30,000, 9,000 parishioners and members of society were crammed into these two churches, the Thomaskirche, the Nikolaikirche, and bulging from the seams of the other churches in the town. What were the other 20,000 people doing? Just freaking partying? Thus every week Bach had an audience ten or a dozen times bigger than in any opera house. Unfortunately people at the main churches tended to behave as if they were in an opera house, much to the fury of the clergy. In the opera house what are people like rowdy? We have different ideas of opera houses I guess. I think they don't listen carefully to the sermons, uh, that's for sure. You get all kinds of complaints about people flirting in church, people sleeping in church, people um, throwing paper airplanes in church yes. and taking snuff in church. And, and all dogs kinds coming of into the dogs church. Coming into church. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Some churches employ special. They call me the dog. Supposed to, to try to really? get to get the dogs out, but um, <laughs> the dog. You can't get the dog out of me. I mean, earlier when you've had complaints about people taking pigs through church because it's the quickest way from uh, where the pig was to market and so on. <laughs> they call me the pig. I'm, I'm just no, they don't. I think our awesome. I'm the dog. Of proper behaviour in church, the church different. Is, is different. There must have been a huge amount of noise, and one of the problems, that's one of the few things we really do know, is that people drifted in and out before the sermon, after the sermon, during the music. It must have been chaos. Yeah, that's why you need a freaking organ. Imagine trying to play a lute with that. God, I was at a guitar recital recently. These people kept freaking walking in and out. Guys, just some concert etiquette. If music's being played, don't take your seat. You gotta wait outside. Don't just barge through the door. It's really annoying, especially when you're playing classical guitar. The guitarist is just facing the stage. He can totally see you. You're just distracting him. And wait for the song to end to leave. Don't leave halfway through a song. You freaking animals. Down here below. All right, you know, we're done. We learned some stuff about Bach. What'd you learn? Post in the comments. I learned that uh, I have more questions than answers, honestly, than anything. Well, let's go ahead and wrap this one up. Hey, well, you know, if you made it this far, be sure to subscribe and what? That's right, leave a like. Hey, 
Want some guitar lessons? I'll teach you how to play guitar. I know the presto's a little rough, I play other stuff better. I think yesterday's performance was pretty on it, so go check out yesterday's video. Hey, got any comment questions? I plan on answering a comment question tonight, I already have one lined up. So you know, if you have one of your own, check that out. Be sure to leave one, and I'll answer it at some point. It can be about anything, as personal as you want, or as impersonal as you want. You really think I won't answer your freaking question if you ask me something insane? I will. Alright, I'm gonna go edit and then get lunch with my friend and then teach five of you and then I'll see you tonight.